Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the last episode of the summer season for Stardew Valley 1.4 here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. So, it's the last episode. We have the last two dates. Good news, bad news. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies is one of my favorite events because it takes place in the evening. So we're having almost the entire day to work. So we can put in another construction order, do some mining, do some farming, sell a lot of stuff. Today as well. We have no more birthdays, so... Yeah, there's just a whole lot of stuff that we're gonna have to do in order to prepare properly for the start of the fall season. Now, obviously, because I do not possess sufficient amount of seeds, I will still have to go on the first of the fall to see Pierre, which might kill some time, but hopefully, hopefully, the use of the wheat in the fields will at least save me some time on not having to re most of the land because I'm quite sure wherever I keep the blueberries or coffee I'm gonna have to redo those parts but where I keep the coffee in the lower part with the sheds I'm gonna remove two of the iridium quality sprinklers moving them away since I will be placing more fish ponds over there as well so yeah we we have quite a lot of stuff to do so hopefully I will be able to cover all of that So obviously since it's an event tomorrow, we're gonna have a sunny day as well, and let's take a look at the fortune. Ooh, today is a super lucky day. So theoretically I might try to go into the Skull Cavern, and I'm really hoping that some of the creepy crawlies there will drop uh, some of the scrolls which I'm still looking for. So who knows, theoretically speaking, I should go and try to see if I can get more of those weird treasure chests for Omni Geodes. That is if I, of course, do have some. Hi, how are you doing? I hope you enjoyed the gift I've sent you. Well, goodbye. Emily, thank you for the lovely piece of wool. Eventually, if I will get a loom, I should be able to utilize it. Now here we can go a bit cuckoo and create some lovely preserve jars and some kegs. Please, I hope. And now I'm completely out of stone. And yeah, we have 18 pieces of stone left. That That's not so great. Okay, so 9 kegs and 5 preserve jars. We have 191 pieces of wood, 18 stone. We are completely out of iron. We have only few pieces of copper bars left. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm not really sure if I have 12 of them, but uh, oh, what the heck, let's see. Okay, so this should allow me to smelt some more. We're gonna put these into the sheds. And here I'm gonna have to be careful. I cannot be actually walking around right now with the sight because if I would accidentally utilize it by clicking with the right mouse button, I would actually like cut down all the sweet. So. Yeah, that, that would totally, totally throw off the entire plan. So the good news here is that this piece of corn or this corn crop will remain active throughout the fall season. Now, I'm not really that huge on corn in Stardew Valley, so we're gonna have to see what I will be able to fill into the rest of this part of the uh, farmed land. Also, I've been considering utilizing this part too. Uh, these uh, poppies and spangles, I will have to pick those up on the last day, so we still have some use for them. 
And once again, I'm gonna have to be careful on what I choose to use here as a tool. This is gonna be probably the last harvest of the hot peppers, so what a shame, what a shame. But hopefully it will work out well for me. Really hoping that the wheat which was planted here will be fully grown on the first of fall and if not, well, it's gonna be grown on the second. So we're gonna have here a lot of stuff that we are gonna be able to properly utilize. Once again, be careful around the wheat. I'm not really sure if I managed to pick up the mushrooms on the end of the previous episode. Apparently I did. Okay, so let's take a look at the fish ponds. Really nice yield. The octopus is still not at full population, so we still have something to work with here. And let's see... Yeah! So I do have 12 of them. Okay, let's take a look at how many battery packs do we get out of the last storm of the summer season. So that's actually 15 of them. I'm counting the one which I have not yet been able to pick up. So I'm gonna have to refill the food probably inside of the coop unless Robin was able to finish it off so that I don't have to deal with that anymore. But we're gonna have to take a look inside and we have our dinosaur finally ready to be hatched. So we're gonna obviously go with T-Rex cause why not? And this means that since we have the coop upgraded, I'm gonna go and grab the other uh, dinosaur egg, which I have somewhere around the farm, and I'm gonna drop it immediately into the incubator so that we can get our second dino as soon as possible. Look at that. Look at that. I think the only thing missing is the blue chicken and I think I need to do something specific with Shane in order to potentially get the blue chicken. The problem is, um, I'm not really sure if you can see the baby chick that will be turning blue. Um, I usually don't have the blue chickens on my farm, I'm just usually a terrible terrible person when it comes to befriending someone, so don't take my word for it. Okay, let's let's get rid of some of these things, and I'm carrying a whole lot of stuff, which I should have dropped in order to actually... Bacon, you are blocking my way in order to get to some eggs. Don't do that, buddy, or you will be turned into bacon. Okay, so... This cube is fully occupied, which means I cannot put in any more animals. Let's get rid of more of these eggs at least. Okay, we're getting some more milk here. At least I'm gonna have stuff to sell. Because the previous episode was kind of really sad when it comes to, or when it came to the overall sales of what I was selling from the farm. It was not really my intention to put mostly stuff from like the crab pots, but uh, sometimes you just don't have other options apparently. Okay, so let me just finish off here. I really doubt that I will be able to get into the Skull Cavern super fast. Also, for that, I would need to create at least like one lucky lunch or some form of a dish that would allow me to have some additional boost. I'm not really sure right now if I do have in reserve any form of... A spicy eel or any of the other dishes which might be beneficial for me. So I think the animals have been taken care of. I need to take a look at uh, that other dino egg and because I am not keeping it here, which is kind of my 
bad planning. I'm gonna have to return here. But first, we should really go and deal with the sheds and whatever I am holding on to. Today is Saturday, so tomorrow there will be the traveling merchant. I still need to take a look inside of the greenhouse to see how that is doing. Definitely to at least go pick up the last piece of tea or the last... Well, today and tomorrow I'm gonna have to harvest the tea because then it's gonna take another full three weeks of episodes in order for me to be able to pick up any additional stuff. Okay, let's go like this so that it's almost symmetrical. Okay, so what do we want to get rid of? You know what? Let's get rid of all the row. I know some of it might not be the most valuable stuff that I'm loading in, especially when it comes to like the salmon row and such. But it's done in like two days, so... Oh, what the heck. Octopus, we have some blueberries, so blueberries can go in. We stop trying to eat everything. Okay. Missing one more, so I'm gonna load this in, and we are done. Uh, still a whole lot of room to fill in all sorts of things. Now let's not bother with corn, it, it's, it's just not gonna be that much of a value for me. Okay! Well, this looks at least somewhat promising. I'm not really sure if these are some of the mixed fruits. Okay, star fruit wine. That can be actually kind of beneficial. If I would decide to sell this, that would definitely help me with my overall financial situation. I should consider starting to save up some of the uh, star fruit wine, to be perfectly honest for eventually when I will upgrade the house so that I can put in uh, the star fruit wine for aging before I would get for example a decent enough crop of the ancient fruit because currently I don't possess any ancient fruit wine so yeah it, it's still gonna take a while for me to get there unfortunately but it, it usually does because working with ancient fruit is a long process. Okay, let's load in some of this. And like I said on the previous episode, I will probably keep uh, selling all of the stuff on like the next day. So we're gonna sell just like minimal stuff today. Just to get rid of some of these things, and I really need to take a look at where do I keep the dinosaur egg. So, really hoping I won't miss it. But everything is possible. Ah, okay, so here it is. We do have two pieces of spicy eel. That is perfect. We have seven pieces of star fruit, which can be turned into. Uh, 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 more seeds. It's looking what's available to me right now. Let's sell all of this. Let's drop off these bars. Let's drop off the batteries too. Yeah, so I'm still kind of thinking if I should go with stables or if I should just stick with the third shed being constructed. And into the third shed I will try to cram in a bunch of crystallariums so that I can keep getting diamonds on a much larger scale. It's quite helpful to be perfectly honest if you can pull off a decent harvest of diamonds because uh, 
A they are a great gift, especially for the ladies. Let's let's face it. And I also once again missed out a spot here. That is just awesome. Now the question is if I should save up all the uh, sweet gem berries to be turned into seeds and plant those seeds outside during the fall season. Uh, one thing which I don't have to be probably afraid of are like the crows. Gonna have to put in some speed grow. Come on, T. So I can put in quite a lot of star fruit here. Please don't give me mixed seeds for the love of it. We're gonna take a few rounds here of replanting these crops. I will have to keep running inside and outside, and of course, uh, I don't think I will manage to go into the skull cavern because it's almost, yeah, it's past 5 p.m. Who am I kidding? Right? Can we squeeze in just about any of these? Probably no. So I might actually go and try to plant them really outside during the fall season. There's 32 of them, so if I would actually plant these around the quality sprinklers, that might work perfectly fine for me because that way I should be able to plant around four. 4 times 8 is... Thirty-two. Right? 8, 16, 24... Thirty-two. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I'm just recording this again late in the evening, so... Don't, don't expect any miracles from me, because I'm amazing myself that I was able, able to do this basic math which small kids are able to do, but then again, small kids are not thinking about like 20 things they should manage to get done on their farm. And I really hate the fact that I did not manage to go into the Skull Cavern, but that is the main problem with having a big farm. If you have a big farm, you don't get to finish super early. You know, like, there's just always something to do here, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a problem of mine. I've tried to be perfectly honest on multiple occasions to, like, get into the Skull Cavern and see if I can get a bunch of things done early in the day, but it just somehow never seems to work out for me, and, uh, I just really hate to leave some of these things unattended, especially when it comes to like crops for example, because if you don't deal with the crops for one day, that one day might be a difference between uh, additional harvest of crops, so yeah, that, that that's why this is kind of a big thing for me. Also, I really need to put down that damn speed grow, I keep forgetting about it. Okay, so we are missing like four pieces of store fruit seeds and uh, one deluxe speed grow. And of course, I'm gonna get the seeds. Yeah, I, I do realize that for like last days. God damn it, I totally forgot to put the dinosaur egg into the incubator. And there's just so many things I'm trying to think of doing, and honestly. Even if I would like write down a plan before I start the recording for the episode, it always manages to somehow get totally screwed up based on what I'm doing here. So I cannot promise any miracles. I do apologize for that. But then again, these are not your professional walkthroughs and not the channel of the playthroughs of excellence or some other weird name. So I'm not really sure why I keep running around with the spicy eels because I will definitely not be using them. 38 
sweet Jimberry seeds. That's pretty damn decent, to be perfectly honest. So I'm super happy about this. It's gonna totally throw off the math which I had in my mind for the purposes of planting these seeds outside. One, two, three, four. One. It's gonna go here. Okay, so what else can we do today? Uh, man. Can definitely go. To the beach and uh, pick up whatever is in the crab pots. Just have to make sure I won't eat the spicy eel or something. Man, I really am super mad about myself that I was unable to pull off the uh, run into the skull cavern. And to be perfectly honest, even with like the two spicy eels only, if I would go to the mines. Uh, why am I coming here? Anyone? Anyone? Well, in the last episode, we did receive the stupid key, which should allow me to finally go through the sewers. So, theoretically, I might try my luck catching that weird magic carp. Uh, this is still, uh, like, blocked off. And here we will require the Void Salmon for... The last Junimo, I really don't want to switch any of my talents currently. Here we can talk with Probus. And of course, we first need to always interact with Probus before we are able to... Uh, I'm not really sure if he just unlocked that part of the thing for me, but here we can uh, purchase Solar Essence, Void Essence. Now, the fun thing is that, theoretically, since we have more Void Ascents and less Solar Ascents, it's easy for me to purchase Solar Ascents here from Krobus and be able to create Mega Bombs back at the farm. I definitely want to grab the Star Drop. That's 20,000. Uh, so, we are going to have to make up for this. Okay, and what else? The Crystal Scepter is an amazing thing, especially if you go into like these skull caverns, because you just uh, swipe it or do whatever it does and you are back at the farm. Problem is it costs 2 million gold and I'm nowhere around that ballpark. So yeah, it's, it's going to take me a while to save up, uh, but who knows? My birthday is coming up, so maybe, maybe I will win a jackpot or something. To be perfectly honest, I read in the news today that some guy in my country won a jackpot during COVID for 58 million euros. Can, can you imagine that? Like, that is just so much stupid amount of money. That if I would win that, I would probably most definitely quit my job and do this full time as a hobby amongst other things. But goddamn, hey, can you imagine having that much money all of a sudden? I would probably go crazy at first, but I would try to save up as much of it as possible. At least I should, because, well. Otherwise, the university degree which I have uh, would be kind of pointless. But yeah, it's it's difficult to imagine that sort of thing. I mean, I don't even have hundred thousand in my bank right now, and it would help me quite a lot, to be perfectly honest. But yeah, I mean, do let me know in the comment section what you would do if you would win some crazy jackpot. In the comment section, I would really be interested to read about it. And it's funny how I came to that thought by just going through the price for a working scepter from Krobus for 2 million gold. I think I have like one or two saves only where I managed to save up that much. And that was even before the 1.3 or 1.4 version. So... Yeah, fun stuff, fun stuff. Can we get some more fern here? 
Because tomorrow is the last day when I will be able to fetch Fern. Otherwise, it's gonna take us the entire year again till we are gonna be able to make risotto for Kent. And during the fall season, at least, you can come across morels or chanterelles here. So the mushrooms are at least spawning here, but they're not so regular, so I would advise for you to have the mushroom cake. There are multiple videos on YouTube already on what's more beneficial for you, uh, either the bat cave or the mushroom cave, but from my personal experience, I just know that the mushroom cave keeps producing on a daily basis, so once you generate 20,000 gold of income, Demetrius will come and ask you which one would you like more on your farm and it's gonna be super late and I'm really hoping that now especially since the coffee has run off I will be able to get home I won't be trying to sell anything more today I really don't want to be charged by Harvey anymore I mean it's like a thousand gold that that's a lot of money it's much more preferable if Linus is the person who finds you because he just drags you home and tucks you in the bed and gives you a kiss on the forehead. Because I hope that's all he does. I've never kind of thought of it in more detail. Uh, yeah, today is the day of the big sales and the day of the moonlight chilies. So. Let's take a look at what's gonna be the weather like on the first of fall. Okay, so the next episode will at least start off with a pretty weather. Today is a neutral lock, which I really don't care that much about. And we are getting the final recipe for year two of summer. And that is the roasted hazelnuts. Oh, because hazelnuts can be foraged during the fall season. This is actually kind of nice, but it's year two, so yeah. Not, not exactly the most beneficial recipe at this time, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Okay, dear James, here's a vegetable from the little garden I keep out back and probably have more you probably have more veggies than you know to do with, but oh well, Caroline. Thank you for the cauliflower. Dear James, tonight around 10 p.m. a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south from the winter. We're all gathering on the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight, Demetrius. Thank you for the invite. And I'm kind of considering that maybe I should actually pick up uh, the poppies and the spangles because, well, it's just the unfortunate thing of it. Uh, they would wither and I would not get anything out of it. And I believe that uh, poppies are a good gift for someone. I'm not really sure right now if it's Emily who likes uh, the poppy muffin. I'm gonna probably have to look that up and give you more detailed information on the screen in the editing. You know, I, I gotta keep this editing even fun for myself because... Yeah, I've spent over 700 hours on this game and I still don't remember some of this stuff, but... Then again, I kind of don't remember what I did the last week. Because ever since COVID, I don't know, like, days keep kind of molding one into another. It, it's kind of weird for me. I'm not really sure if you're experiencing something similar. I'm definitely hoping you guys are staying safe. You guys and you gals. So, yeah. Uh, just gonna have to harvest all of this. And we will see how things turn out. It's gonna free up some space for me. All the honey is flavored, so unfortunately I will be selling it. But thankfully we should get at least something of a decent harvest. I should have totally took a damn snapshot of the farm. 
I'm a dumbass. I just realized that. This is the price you pay for watching my content, which I can only record in the evenings, because I, I just don't have other time during the day, so yeah, I, I kind of do apologize for that. I'm, I'm gonna try to see if I can squeeze something more out of this, but yeah. So this will be definitely done by the next episode, this is already. This will be done too. Oh man, we're gonna have to sell so much stuff. So much stuff. Hopefully it's gonna help me get ready for the next season, because otherwise... Yeah, it's, it's gonna be bad otherwise. And I have big plans! For the fall season. Okay, let's put all the trash in. Man, I so love that the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies takes place in the evening and I have the entire day to do God knows what I want. Otherwise, this would be one really, really annoying event to put up with. So poppies are being collected. How many should I keep? Now let's sell these three. They're not gonna fetch me that much of a price. Theoretically, I could have placed them into the kitchen to have something for the uh, poppy muffins. But to be perfectly honest, uh, those ones which I kept will be used for the same exact thing. So I don't see the difference that much. Not sure if I have some tall grass. I should theoretically consider putting down some for the animals. They definitely do deserve some more food. And then when the winter season will come, I will have to make sure that I will have enough food for all of these hungry mouse. Because this is a lot of animals. So yeah, I'm going to take a look at what's happening inside of the coops and the barns and I'll talk to you once this has been all taken care of. Okay, so what are we going to take? Ah, uh, man. First of all, the grass starter is gonna be definitely a big plus. Let's try to plant as much of this as I can. We should keep the animals happy. I tried all sorts of experiments from previous versions where I kept uh, the fence and I planted the tall grass starter in between the fence, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be working anymore, so the tall grass was not spreading from between the fence, so unfortunately no such luck. I won't have uh, infinite supply of tall grass for the animals. It's unfortunate, but oh, what the heck. So, we have some stupid amount of cheese and mayonnaise and truffle oil and void mayonnaise and I know I should keep some for the uh, troll which is in that mine which the wizard showed us by the train station but it's still gonna take me a while to get to those things. For some reason, my channel kind of tends to still prioritize stuff like farming, artisanal items, crafting, and other funky stuff, so yeah. And I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna keep some of the spangles too, because why the heck not? Maybe I'm gonna realize that they can be used as a gift to someone thanks to 
the power of editing this footage. Who knows? I definitely know that the fairy roses are fairly popular amongst the ladies. I'm not really sure what's the situation uh, with these bangles. Also, what I wanted to do is build these things. Not really sure where I want to put them. And of course, I don't have resources to make more because why would I even bother? Let's try to make six more. So that's nine. Uh, in the spring season, I might move these beehives away just so that I can once again utilize that lot for more rice farming, but I'm not really that crazy about rice. I mean, it was a nice addition for the 1.4 version, but there aren't that many uses for the crop, so I'm still not exactly sure what was the real goal with that crop, so yeah. It's kind of hard to sometimes figure out what is the design behind some of the choices, but I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to make pleasant content for the lovely game, so hopefully you will continue to enjoy it. Okay, let's go grab whatever is inside of the- whoa, that's a lot of stuff! We're gonna be able to replace a whole lot of these things with, I don't know, like strawberries or something else. I haven't picked up the row from the fish ponds today, I think. Not really sure right now. Gonna have to check. Yeah, th this is all going with me, so let's just grab the fruit. Let's grab some melons and let's pickle this pickle. Apricots, cherries, pomegranates, apples, oranges, peaches, and I should have picked up more stuff. I'll probably go this time with the strawberries. Strawberries have a great selling price or added value when they are turned into the jelly form, so... We're just gonna go crazy here with those, and the fun thing is that I'm gonna be getting a whole lot of cranberries now during the fall season. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun! Seriously, did I go and check on the fish ponds yet? Please don't try to eat the fruit. Oh great, even more coffee. And the final tea of the summer season. I totally forgot about that second bush. How many episodes have I missed this? Or how many days have I missed this? Oh man, I'm such a dummy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back eventually for the pomegranates. Not really sure if I managed to pick up mushrooms on the previous day. Of course I did not. And of course I did not pick up anything from the fish ponds yet. And look at the time, it's only 3.40 p.m. It's like I haven't done anything today. <laughs> Man, I'm really hoping that the land will remain hold and I won't have to bother with this. And I'm really hoping that I'm gonna get so much freaking stuff out of selling all of my supplies here or I'm gonna be one mad farmer. Uh, okay, nine of these. This can all be dropped off. So the pomegranates in the greenhouse, mushrooms in the mushroom cave, and the oh yeah, the row from the fish ponds, and then the crab pots. Maybe I can try some fishing. In the sewer, who knows, maybe I will try to catch the damn legendary fish. Still feel like I'm 
we're getting constantly about these five here, which is why I'm really trying to... Damn it. I really wanted to move them away, but I guess they're just gonna have to stay here another day. Don't have that much free space, really? Hey, you would think that 36 slots in your backpack would last you for at least a while, right? Okay, let's put all of these lovely pieces of fruit here. Tea and coffee can be stored here. Oh, I have some roll, which I could have left in the other. I kind of did not do this correctly because I only brewed five cups of coffee and I would need six in order to get uh, two triple shot espressos. So I kind of screwed myself there. But I should be fine when it comes to the... Coffee for now, hopefully. I have six triple shot espressos, five cups of coffee. I think I still have some coffee left over. Seems I've picked up more iron. Let's grab all of this lovely stuff. We're gonna sell this too. Man, I do wonder if we're gonna break at least like 100,000 or something on today's sales. Really don't like the fact that I don't see more things which I can work with here. Okay, so truffles were... Change, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This can all be sold. Don't really care right now about those bars. Uh, what I do care about are the eggs and the other stuff which I'm carrying around with me. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just sorry. There's like 10,000 things which I want to get done by the end of today. Damn it, traveling merchant. She's gonna be open till 7, I think, so I'm not really sure if I will manage to make it there. The triple shot espresso will definitely last me till then, but it might happen that she will shut down her window right in front of my face, which would be extremely rude, but I definitely managed to make it. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, rare seed, I'm gonna take you. Order and bookcase. This looks kind of dope, but I'm gonna pass. I don't see any need for any of these things, so I'm gonna pass on those two. Let's go take a look for a last time in the summer season in the secret woods. I was really hoping to grab more of the fern. There is one piece apparently, so actually there are two of them. I just did not notice the second one at first. Let's grab some slime here, might be useful. I'm not really sure how much do I have at the farm at this moment, to be perfectly exact. Uh, and we are gonna definitely need a more oil presses, especially since more bacons are trying to get ready for the fall season. I kind of realized that I did screw myself over with not having them at the start of the spring season, but considering the fact that a single pig will cost me 16,000 gold, and I still cannot get a purple pig like that, I mean, I would pay even 20,000 for a pig like that, because I would bet that that pig can potentially find iridium, which would explain its purplish color and with that hat and those cool sunglasses i mean that is the coolest piggy ever which you cannot own on this game which is really really sad now i still have the possibility to at least pick up whatever is in the crab pots by Elias place i just realized that i won't be able to do the same with what is on the beach just because it's fairly simple uh, during these events at the beach 
Uh, the crab pods are disabled, so yeah. I kind of did screw myself there. Uh, I have 64 of those, so good for me. Uh, should be able to therefore create one of the oil makers. Theoretically, four pieces of truffle can be turned at the same time. 39 pieces! Damn it! I'm missing one for it to be 40. That is so unfortunate. Oh man, it would look so nicely if I can plant the uh, rare seeds over here. Well, theoretically, I can do that, but... I just won't be able to fill in the fields entirely if I will expand that farming process even further. Just grab these bars, let's pick up whatever is left here. Are the truffle oils ready? Unfortunately, it doesn't look that way. Two last pieces of mayo are done. I can theoretically sell the two truffles which I currently have in my inventory, but the truffle oil sells for a whole lot more, so not really that eager to do that. Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has officially started. And that'll be it for the summer season. It's been a blast to cover this much star fruit with you guys. So if you did not see the episodes, definitely go check it out. The playlist will be definitely shared at the end of the episode. Uh, I'm gonna probably sell like 16 pieces of star fruit wine. I'm gonna keep 10 to myself just to be on the safe side. I can put in some more hops or more star fruit. And definitely consider subscribing to the channel as I publish content on a weekly basis. So we'll have always something fun to watch. I do playthroughs, discussions, early in game reviews. I do tips and tricks and some other stuff which I'm planning to do for the channel eventually. So. Go check it out, link is in the description too. I do hope you did like it. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, etc., please feel free to leave them in the comment section. I would be more than happy to get back to you as soon as I can, and hopefully I will manage to make it to the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. I'm going to be one angry guy, because, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful event, so... Thank you for watching, see you soon, stay safe, have fun, bye bye.
The glow of summer has faded now and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. 